Right smack dab in the middle of the 2021 Bassmaster Elite Series season, we go to a legendary spot for big, big bass. Lake Fork in Texas. We get down to 10 anglers on the final day, Championship Sunday. And one of those anglers, Mark Zona, is the only true native we have, the hometown favorite. Of course, that would be the one and only Lee Livesey. And Lee Livesey, who has been kind of thwarted, kind of disappointed here in the last two outings on his home water, kind of made a big turnaround this time around. I think it's fair to say that he backed up his reputation, not only as one of the best guides on that lake, but all around knowledge. And coming into this tournament, it was said that this was going to be a sight fishing beatdown, dominated sight fishing. One man, one man before it started said, no, it's going to be one casting. Trust me. And that was Lee Livesey who said that. Lee Livesey starts his final day in fifth place, seven pounds back of the lead. But he has a belief in what you just said there. And he's been saying that, preaching that gospel all week. And he never, never varied from the pathway. Started with a big square bill crankbait, a big glide bait early in the week. But on day three, day three, he stopped on this little island in Little Caney Creek caught a bunch of five pounders and made the comment I saw the right ones I didn't catch the right ones on day three I know they're there I need to catch one over seven well he did more than that Tommy he caught five over seven the third biggest stringer in Bassmaster history five bass for 42 pounds three ounces and get this on a topwater bait on the final day of an event on one of the most pressured lakes in the country Boy, this one is going to be hard to top. Yeah, you talk about big bass on a big stage, and this was that in excess. The local favorite, Lee Livesey, going against that old maxim that you just can't win on your home lake. Oh, he wins big time. Century belt and all. 112 pounds, 5 ounces for your champion, Lee Livesey.